So I said, do you know what? I would really love to go to the boxing. Everyone either loves it or hates it. He said, do you want to go to Costco tomorrow? And I love going to Costco. So it's your surprise. What color is it? It's trench. Welcome to my morning routine. I love to start the day with a fresh mint tea and my daily vitamins. I love Nutrigreens by Nutriburst. This is a brand backed by science, suitable for vegans, sugar and gluten free. Boosted with vitamin, zinc, inulin and live bacteria culture to support overall health. A simple routine with maximum results for a busy working mum like myself. Now I'm ready for the day and feeling good. I've still got some of my mint tea left. It's raining, the fire's on, I've got my blanket, it's so cosy. So that's my morning routine. It's very simple, I do it every single morning. It's very simple and attainable, that's how I can do it every morning. But it really makes a big difference and an impact, I think, to everyday lifestyle and health. I did it the morning, of course, of my birthday, but we were in such a rush to get to London because Paris had planned something and I didn't even know about the timings. So I couldn't get my camera out. God, can you hear the rain? Um, but I wanted to show you what I wanted to show like the full day. So I finally got around to filming that and then you're gonna go back in time and see my birthday vlog. So my morning routine, I know what I'm like. If I was to set like 6 a.m. Pilates every morning, it's not attainable for me. So I do really simple things that I think make a really big difference. I always have my mint tea or a lemon tea before the caffeine. I think that's really important and it's really good for skin and de bloating. Um, I get up early, well I've told you all of this, so I do that as like my little moment. I have vitamins every single day and you know I didn't have vitamins for years because I'm so allergic to fish, like so many of you that have followed me for years know that my fish allergy is such a pain and it's not been until recently that they are really good vitamins that cover the vegan because they all have fish oils in which is so good for us but I can't have that and I've tried it and I, I react to it so I put in a lot of research to my vitamins I want obviously all the nutrients that everybody else wants but I have to be careful of all my allergies and Nutriburst is the most amazing brand because it has so much science behind it I definitely suggest you go online because there's so much to read and I think it's best you read it, but there's so much science that goes behind it. And these products are vegan, 100% sugar-free, gluten-free, informed sports certified, no artificial colours and no artificial flavours. This is the apple flavour and this is just for all-round everyday health. So this is Nutri-Greens, um, six essential micronutrients and you get 60 gummies in here, vegan and sugar-free. They're really big as well, let me show you. The apple taste. Look how big they are. This smells so good. The apple taste is so strong. I was really surprised to read that it's actually natural flavouring because it's such a good, strong flavour. Um, so that covers everything I need. It's really good ingredients, really high in ingredients. You can pick this up at Harrods. Whole Foods also sell this, which I love that because I'm really bad at not being on top of ordering new that's why i've got two because i always get behind when i need to I, I like run out and then i have to order it so you can order it on those two sites amazon their main website but i love it when you can go in the shop and buy things like this because i'll just i'm always in and out of harrods i live locally to there as you know so i'll just pop in and get some from there and i worked at harrods you know i worked there for five years all of the things that they buy, the brands, the products, it is the best of the best. So the fact that these are the vitamins of choice at Harrods and Whole Foods, the most renowned brands, most renowned health shop, you know that it's good. So I read all about these, I always just look for the vegan, gluten-free, sugar-free, all the natural flavours. It's really hard to actually cover everything and then on top of that to actually get something that tastes amazing. They're also doing a 30% off. I think it's first 30, I put it on the website, but just know these are amazing, high-end, good quality vitamins. And I think it's really important to take them every day. So that's my morning routine that I do. I can do my beauty stuff if you want. I'm not sure if you're interested in that, but I love having my hour in the morning. I plan everything in my diary, and then I feel like good to go for the rest of the day. So I'm actually working today, but I'm gonna leave you with the vlog of me going to London for my birthday. 
Um, and I cannot believe that I'm in shorts and Paris is in a t-shirt. That's never happened on my birthday because it's literally meant to be autumn. But I'll leave you with that. Uh, don't forget to check out everything in the description box below, all discounts, any, anything you need to know. And uh, enjoy the next part of the vlog. I have decided to film my birthday weekend. So um, I should have started yesterday. I didn't even take any pictures, but basically... Paris asked me what I, wanted, what I wanted to do for my birthday and we don't do anything for our birthdays anymore. I'm just happy to just go to like the local restaurant and you know. Um, so I said, do you know what? I would really love to go to the boxing in October. It's in Manchester 02. I used to go boxing with my stepdad when I was younger and I just really fancied it. It was really hard for him to get tickets. He got me them. So I obviously didn't ask to do anything this weekend. Friday night, he said to me, we're in a rush because um, my mum's going to be here in a minute. He said, do you want to go to Costco tomorrow? And I love going to Costco. I think this is very divided. Let me know in the comments. And I love it that it's an England and an American thing as well. Sorry for anyone outside that doesn't have Costco, but you'll have something similar. And I feel like everyone either loves it or hates it. So let me know in the comments. So I, I said, yes, great. Let's go there. And he said, and we'll go to the Christmas shop and Starbucks and I was like wow usually I do that with my mum so it was so hot but Costco was um had aircon so I've got some prints there for Paris kept him in there a bit longer I will do you a haul later you'll be disappointed but I will do you a haul then I dragged him to Ikea that was a nightmare on a Saturday but I ended up getting a rug which I'll show you later it's a rug that's always sold out and because it's a heat wave no one's thinking about buying cozy rugs so I managed to get one um, and then today we're going to Balvazar in Covent Garden so they actually invited me there for a gifted meal and I always decline these but you know what I'm gonna start um, I'm gonna start accepting them because We've stopped going to nice restaurants in London because we're paying at least £200 and it's really not that good. So if I do the gifted ones, I can share with you which is good or not. So I am going to start accepting them. Um, so we went there and we loved it. And I could have asked the PR if I could go back for my birthday, but I, I didn't. We're just going to go back today as like normal paying customers. Um, but Balvazar and Covent Garden, amazing. Really like French brasserie, amazing, amazing food amazing atmosphere so I said I want to go there for my birthday um yeah we don't really do anything last year Paris actually bought me a bag which um was a surprise well I guessed it a couple of days before but um I am not expecting anything this year because we don't normally do gifts anyway and uh I literally got two bags recently the one in can this one was totally unexpected I haven't even used it it's so new and it was so expensive because it's a b30 so I bought that and I just said this will be a birthday present um so yeah that's what we did last year and then I'm hoping to pop into the Ritz because last year we forgot to do our August anniversary picture and I really want to do it this time this year even though it's mid-September so every birthday I'm in cashmere and a blazer so I, I just hate this weather this is like my go-to I just throw it on that's why I love play suits and twin sets I got these the other day so I mean I actually wasn't even going to wear these but I think I will because they're comfy but yeah this is just I don't know what to wear I was really looking forward to wearing that blazer cashmere pair of jeans would be nice so yeah I'm just going to throw this on and it's kind of nice for walking around Comp Garden but nice enough for Balbazar so my room is a mess because I was going to wear that but because I'll probably go to the park with only a skirt it's not a good idea so my bags are all like this because when we're not here I move my bags I don't keep them in this room even though it's got a steel door and everything and it's so annoying because I have to do this because I'm worried that someone's going to rob me. It's actually a disgrace. And I'm sure something's going to get damaged one of these days. But yes, I'm, um, I've only just put those back. And then I thought, oh, I want to clean the shelves again. So that's why my room's a mess. So my mum's here. Harry said we've got a schedule. So, I mean, I don't know what time the restaurant is. So, yeah, I'm going to vlog my birthday weekend. And when I get back, I'll show you if there's anything else that I got. I might pop into, like, Mango and places like that. Um... And then I'll show you the Costco haul. So yeah, birthday weekend. Let's go to town. Do you know what we haven't done? We haven't picked a bag. 
So because I'm vlogging, I can't use one of these. I'm really into the Birkin lately, and I think it's because um, with Honoré not being so young, I can like I didn't wear them for so long because it wasn't a very good baby bag. Oh, I've got all cream on my hand. That goes nice with the Sheerlin, and it's summery. Yeah, I think I'll wear that. I was going to wear the grey. You're all going to complain that I'm making you feel sick, and I don't blame you. That's what I was planning on wearing, because I love this grey one. But, um... Because it's summery and we're going into winter, I'm going to be wearing that one all the time, so I'll wear this one. Yes, I'll wear that. We've arrived. Um, drive was super quick. There's a little Paul Smith photo shoot going on here. I don't know if you want a little look. A little random photo shoot on a Sunday. Um, this place here, if you want to go for something to eat, it's really nice. Um, but it is always jam-packed. I've been there for uh, meetings a couple of times when someone's more organised than me and books it. Um, is it called Chaconis? I think it's Chaconis. Yeah, Chaconis. Um, it's always, it's, it's just a very, you know, like your typical snooty Mayfair place. But it is nice. And it's Sunday at 12, so we're just having a little walk around. But I've got to fill you in. I said to Paris, oh god, everyone's looking at me over there now. I said to Paris, why are we so early and why are we going to Mayfair when we're going to Balbazar? We were meant to be going to Common Garden, walking around. Um, so I think I, I think we're going to Hermes, and I said we're going to Hermes. Sorry, I look terrible. Um, yes, I said we're going to Hermes. So it can't be a bag. It can't be. So um, I, I really wanted a pair of those loafers. So I think I shared that on TikTok. So I think it might be them. And if it is them, I'd be really happy with with them loafers. So my mum's here. Did you uh, crash our day? Yeah. He said he's calling you Clingy now. He's calling me Clingy. Paris. He, he used to call her creepy because she's always creeping around. And now you're called Clingy. Clingy Lorna. Oh, do you? You want to share this with people? Yeah, okay. Do you need his pram? No. Do you want your pram, darling, or walk? No. You want your pram, I thought so. So we're gonna share your lollipops with people. There's no boys yet, but there's ladies. Come on. Did you give out your lollipops? Yes. Every Everyone got one? So it's your surprise. What color is it? It's trench. And? Bougainville, yeah. Bougainville. Mum's at her first Hermes appointment. I'm happy. <laughs> So it is similar to this one, but I think for me it is very different. And I think in the light it will look different. Boys. Yeah, we can find some boys. <laughs> Have you got a present? What did you get? So we got the bag. I was a bit shocked in there. So I honestly thought I was going in there for loafers, which I was going to be so happy for the loafers. Um, and then I thought, okay, if it is a bag. Okay, okay, we'll go. And then I thought if it is a bag, I'm waiting for daddy. Um, then I thought if it is a bag, it's gold Birkin. And uh, it was just amazing. My arm is hurting. Um, so currently, I'll talk about it more. I'm just a bit overwhelmed and we're going for lunch. And if it was me organizing this, I would have done Hermes, then lunch, then home. I never, arrange things after Hermes because I get so paranoid but it's fine. Paris is currently putting the new bag into a waitress bag and then we'll put it under the pram. Um, so because we don't want to leave it in the car but we don't want to have the bag around with us. Honoré? Honoré? Did you give out lollipops? I'll put up a footage of him. I think I did one on my phone. No actually I didn't. No I didn't because he was giving it out to customers and I didn't want to film people. But um, it's so funny because um, these are his favourite and he was literally taking five minutes to find these and give them to people. Did you share your lollipops? Good boy, very kind boy. So we've lost my mum, she's gone to the Lion King 
um, because basically my mum is taking us to the Lion King for my birthday but all of us are going and we're going at Christmas. That's why it's still back, it's free on Sunday. Oh, what's in your bag then? <laughs> oh my god, and you've even put stuff on top of it. A spare change of clothes for Annie, of course. Okay, you, you do that. Nothing is conspicuous. So you did very well, didn't you? I did. Because last time you did kind of give it away a little bit. Yes. But last time, do you want to explain why you told me last time? Because there were two options. And they were really, I didn't even know which one to pick myself. Either would have been amazing. And he didn't want me to say, oh, I would have preferred the other one because you can't view two. Whereas this one was just, this is the option, that's it. And one was my favorite, but you already had that color in it's completely Yeah, it's different the Atope Mini he got me before and it's my favorite. That and the 25 is my favorite bag. Yeah, so you already had oh, the 25, so I didn't want to get you the same color and you'd be like, oh, I already have that color. So I needed to make sure. The other one was white. Cray, yeah. So Eva would have been fine. So we're walking to Balbazar now. It's so hot and humid today. Yeah, um, so I think I'll unbox the bag when, like tomorrow or something, not today. Mm -hmm. 